I'm very excited today to join you all at this very important stage of a great journey. But let me also say a word or two to the very powerful and energetic gathering of potential entrepreneurs, business leaders, public sector leaders, and the movers and shakers of business and industry today and in the future. The first piece of advice I'd like to give you is this. So you're going into organized workplaces at a time when everyone is looking for quality people and jobs are relatively scarce. But the point then is that you must be prepared to make an impact on your employers. You must be prepared to make the sort of impact that will make you unforgettable. So you must be prepared to make the sort of impact that gets people to recommend you perhaps not even necessarily in their own organization, but in some other organizations. In other words, how do you make yourself a valuable employee or a valuable colleague to your co-employees? The answer is to understand what is required in the modern workplace. You need not just a competent, knowledgeable t a person. I mean, this is a skill that's required. Obviously, you must be knowledgeable, you must be competent, but you must be a team player. What every employer wants is a good team, a team that works closely. And the rule today, as you've seen from even how this program was birthed, is collaboration, working together. You need to be the employee who is willing and ready to work with everyone, not the employee who is always trying to look better than everybody else but one who sees the place of employment like a football team, where working closely together, your team scores goals and wins. A selfish, self-seeking player, no matter how smart you are, you will destroy the work of the team. But you can only be a good team player if you understand the game, you understand how the organization works, and you are competent. So even if you are a receptionist, at an organization. You must read up and ask questions to understand how that organization works. What do they do here? What are they trying to achieve? How do they work? What are their strengths? What are their challenges? How do you help solve some of their problems? How do you best support those who are doing the work? So today, what is required is to be a multitasking person. And there are so many opportunities. And you've got to take those opportunities. In my day, all I learned to be was a lawyer. It was so difficult to get trained to do anything else. But today, almost every time you turn on your computer, you find so many opportunities, all sorts of online training. And I think you should just take all those opportunities. Let me end by saying, that you are young and educated at the most advanced moment in human history. This moment that we're in is the most advanced in human history. In my day, the technological advancements were, of course you can imagine, light years away. I never imagined that anything like a text message was possible when I was your age. It just wasn't possible. Nobody had ever dreamt of it. But today, just think of the possibilities. So you are the most advanced moment in human history. And many of you are proving this. This is the greatest and the most advantageous moment for any young person. And many of you every day are proving this. The opportunities are limitless. No matter what people say about the challenges, it is in those challenges that people make the greatest breakthroughs of all. It is the challenges that have the opportunities lying there somewhere. And you've got to pick up those opportunities. Or you don't even have to be the entrepreneur to be a success. You can be the great software engineer. You can be the great administrator or the manager of men and materials. Every day presents that great opportunity. It's time for you to seize the moment and achieve your own best dreams. So let me again thank our partners, the UNDP, the EU, the private sector, the 5,000 uh, businesses that have offered places for our fellows, and especially Sterling Bank, who have now 
uh, refresh their support and are going to do even more. Thank you all very much. God bless you.